Well, in the meantime, it's never too cold or too wet to get into the holiday spirit. And that was definitely the case tonight in Coeur d'Alene for the annual lighting ceremony parade. Crime 2's Nathan Hyun takes us there. Well, even in the rain, the parade doesn't stop. Hundreds of people are gathered here in downtown Coeur d'Alene for the annual holiday lighting parade. Lit up cars, high school bands, and even Santa Claus. All of these were just some of the sights spotted at Coeur d'Alene's holiday lighting parade. The city celebrated the event's 35th year Friday night. I love it. I love the community that we have as part of the community myself. Like I, I'm, I'm a small business here as well. I feel like it's such like a community-based event. Just According to Coeur d'Alene Downtown Association, an estimated 40 different floats and attractions took part in the parade. Executive Director Emily Boyd says the parade's special for so many reasons. One is that it brings the community together. It's a free event that anyone can come down. It's also really great for the small businesses downtown so that they can get foot traffic. Boyd says it takes about a month to get everything organized for one night of festivities. As for those selected to be in it, well, they also know how special it is. Being part of the schools, the schools are the community. Everybody has kids, cousins, grandkids that all go to school. And at Lake City, the band is such an integral part of everything that we do. So it's really important for us to be here. Onlookers say this year's crowd was one of the largest they've seen. For some, the parade is a family tradition. We love having our family over to just come watch it. I think we have like the best view. Um, my sister back there always has a birthday party, so I get to cake. So the parade is every year the day after Thanksgiving, and it always ends with a lighting ceremony and a big fireworks show. In Coeur d'Alene, Nathan Hunt, Crem 2 News.